the Astro 30 here yet again with a brand new shiny video for you. Well, sitting on the desk there is a monster surround sound amplifier. It's a Pioneer. Audio video multi-channel receiver VSX-D2011. Now I paid $44 parts only from the Glenorchy tip shop. It does come with a remote. On top there is a sticker saying CD, phono, HDMI not available. Tape, auxiliary, optical, radio, video and coax. Also someone's been into this before because the lid's not on properly. So I quizzed the guy at the tip shop how much one of these would be worth second hand. And he said, and I quote, that they sold this in the tip shop for $220 originally. And it came back a month later under warranty saying that it's faulty. That's all I know is that it's faulty. What the fault is, I don't know. So saying it's faulty is not very helpful. I also don't mind telling you it weighs a f***ing ton. And that's the rear of the unit with a cooling fan, several speaker outputs and a plethora of audio inputs. So output wise we got speakers A, center, surround right left, that's the front, surround back right left, and that's it, no subwoofer output. We've got these type of inputs as well. Uh, the subwoofers out, outputs here, so you need to put it into a powered sub, which is fine. You also got separate outputs from the preamp as well to plug into other devices, I guess. All right, so I've got a power cord connected. Let's plug it in and see what it does, if anything. Well, apparently nothing. It's in standby, but it won't come out of standby for whatever reason. Okay, that's the main power on off switch. Well, indeed it is faulty. God, look at this giant remote. Um, takes Four AA batteries. Okay, let me put some batteries in and see if the remote will turn on. All right, I have no idea if this remote works. Let's uh, have a look. Yes, it works. Uh, there's no direct power on button on this thing. I don't know how well you can see that, but the standby light is just flashing, which is not really helpful. Oh, well, it looks like uh, I'll have to be off with the top and um, try and figure out what the problem is. Oh bloody hell. Well there's where most of the weight is coming from, that giant e-core transformer. This is the power amplifier modules. This is going to be quite a nightmare to service by the looks of things. Yeah. Uh, there's the main power board there, so I probably should check out that. The two fuses look okay, they don't look blown. The other side of the board, yeah, it doesn't look bad. Well, when I did actually push the power button there, it did actually turn on, then it flashed amp error on the display and then proceeded to turn off with the flashing standby button. Um, yeah, looks like we've got a faulty power amp, maybe. Good on you, Pioneer. Good on you. I took the bottom service panel off, and that's all we get. It's the main chassis that everything's mounted to. Oh, but you can remove the power transformer from the bottom. Great idea. So after taking all the million screws out, I'm going to have to put them back on again, because that's not going to help me. All right, so that was unhelpful. I've put the panel back on. Now, 
Let's see if we can catch this display showing the error in action. No, it doesn't want to this time. Turned on once and that was about it. Um, okay. Anyway, just down there, just beyond those large Pioneer filter caps are two connector cables, plugs. I believe they're the main power supply rails for the power amps. What I want to try and do is disconnect them to isolate the power amps to see if the unit will turn on. If it refuses to turn on, then there's a standby issue. <clears throat> Alright, I've got both those cables disconnected, which was a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's a problem with the power amp. As you can see, it's turned on. The display's not that bright, but yeah, it's turned on. Um, next question is, which power amp is it? The left or the right? It'd be one of these two main amplifier modules here, which is where those cables go to. So I'd have to plug each module back in individually to figure out which one it is. And that's going to be a thorough pain in the butt to pull out. So what I want to know now is, does the remote do anything? Let's see. Let's try the volume. Volume doesn't seem to do anything. I'm assuming this is the right remote. Our video, CD, VCR2, tape, tuner, CDR tape. Okay, so why doesn't the volume do anything? Alright, does the control on the front do something? Uh, well, I can see there's another issue. Got an erratic rotary encoder as well. But the... The remote doesn't seem to control it. You know, I can't even hear that main transformer humming. Um... Interesting, maybe I should check to see if there's any voltage going into the transformer. That might be a good, good first move. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm checking the primary of the main transformer. And I've got one lead hooked to the brown, which I'm assuming is the main active, because it does have variable voltage selection on the back. Just touching either pin from that uh, brown wire. Okay, we've got like two ohms there, that winding's fine. Got almost one ohm there, that winding's fine. 0 0.81, something like that, that one winding is fine. That winding looks fine. There's another one just down here. That winding is fine. And finally, that winding is fine. So the primary windings are fine. So, I have no idea how the secondary is wired, but if there's no power going into the main transformer, then it's not going to work. Okay, I'm in volts AC, hooked up across the brown wire and currently the black wire. Um, I'm not really sure if we're going to get a voltage here, but I'll plug it in and dick around. No, there's power going into the transformer and I heard it actually do that large current in rush draw. It made a bzzz. So I know that the transformer's working yet. There's voltage coming in the primary. Alright. So it's back to seeing which one of these power amplifier models is bringing it down. Okay, I've got one of them plugged in. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the one on the left here. I don't know. Um, let's plug it in and see what it does when I turn it on. Amp error. Okay. Other one's plugged in now. Other one's disconnected. No 
power at all now. What the f heck is going on? Hmm, alright. It's unlikely that both amplifier modules will be at fault. I reckon we've got a power supply issue. So that's the next thing I'm going to trace. I would like to be able to find a schematic if I can, that'd be great. Well, this is interesting. With both unplugged, it still won't turn on. Hmm, okay, I think there's an issue with the power control board maybe. Being a flashing light. I was about to measure the transformer, but um, it apparently won't let me for whatever reason. Hmm. I've taken the main metal brace that went across here off because I want to try and get this control PCB out. I pulled out this board, which I think is the regulator board, it just lived here. I'm just going to touch up a few joints on this. As much as a prick that was to get out, I have got the main standby switching power supply board out. Touch up a few joints on there too. I can see that around that joint there doesn't look like it's properly soldered. So yeah, I'll touch these joints up and um, assemble it back together. Well, I had to resolder practically every damn joint on the PCB, but well, nothing beats being thorough. So now I need to plug the board back in and screw it back down and see if I've made a difference or not. I don't really want to have to pull the power supply module out because that involves taking the back panel off, which is millions of screws. This amplifier is a nightmare to work on, so Let's see if I've made a difference. Okay, now it doesn't work at all. Because I forgot to plug the AC connector into the board, didn't I? I've left the amplifier, main amplifier's plugs unplugged. I'm not sure if they're the power wires or the output wires, to be honest, but um, I'm gonna leave them unplugged temporarily. Let's try that again, take two. standby lights on so now it's flashing again so something's still not right here oh shit just got real back panel is removed which was a bastard because there's a million screws got the power supply out but I had to take half the amplifier apart to do it I'm going to retouch up all the joints especially where this board interconnects with it uh, if this doesn't fix the problem I'm, I'm kind of at a loss now, so I don't know what to do. But in order to test it, I've got to put it back together, and so I'm going to do a lot of this off camera. Uh, the joints in the power supply are done, it's all back together as well to a point. So now we'll just plug it in. This time, I'll remember to connect the AC cord back to the power supply, or else it's not going to do anything. I've still left the Wire, main supply wires that go to the power amps disconnected just for now if this doesn't work now I don't know what to tell you okay the standby light is not flashing it came on mm-hmm Apparently. Right, I'll leave that running and go for a cigarette and see what happens. Well, that's unfortunate. Something let out the magic smoke, fried, and now it's dead again. Um, I think it's something on this main supply board. I'll have to pull it out and have a look, but it's completely dead now. That transformer was red hot, so I don't know what's going on there. Hmm, that's a bit of a concern. Well, it's all over. 
the primary of that transformer is open. That's the end of this. So I don't know what else to do with it. All right, it's all back together. Doesn't work. But uh, yeah, you can't repair them all. Eh, I could replace that transformer, but it, I don't see it worth paying for parts for this. Uh, there must have been an, another fault somewhere in there that burnt the transformer out. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it here. Leave your comments down below. Anyhow, um, I'm the Astro30. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe below. And you can always follow me on Facebook or become a Patreon member for as little as a dollar a month. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.